You're watching a volleyball game and you see a player wearing a different colored jersey. You can't miss it. I'm Michaela Chester for NCAA Digital and let's talk about the college volleyball libero. Alexi Hart, Kendall White tracks it down. Free ball from Taylor Lee. The libero is a position that specializes in defense. It's a back row player who can only be replaced by the same player it replaces, according to NCAA rules. They can sub in and out freely, and that color jersey helps officials keep track of who the libero is. Here's a quick history lesson and some basics. Libero is an Italian word that means free. A college volleyball libero can substitute freely, but only come in for someone in the back row. They're typically the best passer on the team, and they specialize in the serve receive. There's a lot more to it though. Don't take it from me, let's hear it from some of the best. Hi, I'm Gabby Curry. I'm a senior libero at the University of, T of Kentucky, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about being a libero. Hi guys, my name is Cece McGraw, and I'm a libero at the University of Minnesota. McGraw has been excellent defensively all night long. Samity has handled things on the offensive end, but Purdue has played her much better in the third set. McGraw, unbelievable. Again. Again. So what is the role of the libero? So first of all, the role of the libero is basically to keep the ball off the floor. So attackers, their job is to hit it and try to put the ball on the floor, and I'm here to return it. Overall role of the libero is to be the main vocal leader in the backcourt, and your job is to simply take charge back there by communicating loud and early, leading in a great example of some showing some grit and effort for every play. I think it's important to really lead by example, right? Just showing a lot of effort, running down balls, sacrificing your body a little bit to try to make the play. Simple as that, but um, I think it's just best to be consistent in your execution, effort, and energy. What are the rules of the libero? Number one, um, I don't count as a sub. I wear the different color jersey. Um, that means that I can go in and out anytime I would like. Two, um, I can't play front row. So I'm not the person that's going to go up and spike the ball. I am obviously the shorter um, person who's going to return it. Obviously, the libero specializes in defense and serve receive. So the libero should always be wearing a contrasting jersey to their teammates to make them stand out more. They are restricted to perform as a back row player, so we are not able to block or attack um, when the ball is above the plane of the net. A hitter may not jump an attack if I were to set the ball with my hands in front of the 10 foot line. If that were the case, they'd have to stay on the ground. So that is why so often you see bros using their platform when they're in front or simply jumping in off one leg to try to avoid the 10 foot line. Why do you use a libero and how does subbing work? Well, a coach is limited to 15 substitution per set per NCAA rules. The libero substitutions don't count towards those 15. Most of the time, the libero is used in the rotation of middle blockers on a team. When a middle rotates to the back row, you might sub in the libero to serve for them and play some backcourt defense. When the second middle blocker comes back to serve, the first middle will switch again with the libero and play in the front row. This is just one scenario. Replacements with the bro often involve just switching in and out. They don't count as actual substitutions, so, and you're unlimited to the amount. Um, one of the rules with this is when you make your switch, you always have to be behind the 10 foot line. I'm not really sure why, but that's, one of the big things that we have to remember as we're running in and out. And then we're only usually out for only a half rotation when the second middle serves. So obviously we can't serve for both middles. So whenever the second one rotates back there, we come out for that point or two or whatever, and then come back in. So a little recap. The libero is a designated back row player. They're typically the best passer on the team. They wear a different color uniform and don't count towards official substitutions. And they often get the first touch, position where they can pass most of the hits from opponents. The libero position though has a lot to love about it. For me, I've loved this position ever since I was young and I first started playing. I love getting to control the first contact of every play. I just um, really enjoy the feeling of getting a huge dig and frustrating the heck out of the opposing hitters. I think 
pretty exhilarating and it's really fun. The reason that I love being libero is I can be the supporting role. So I'm not the spotlight, I'm not the person who gets the big kill, but I'm also the person that can aid my teammates to do their job. So my number one goal is to help those around me be the best they, that they can be. I think I embrace this role and position a lot by constantly hyping up my teammates and hitters. Um, I think it's important to celebrate everyone's el everyone else's successes, especially in a team sport like this. I think it's huge to really recognize the effort and hard work of your teammates and celebrate that in the middle of a game. And when games get tough and games get big, just like still, when you're completely wiped, finding that energy to celebrate others is huge. Um, and it really helps the team rally and keep that momentum. Um, but yeah, overall, I love this. I love this position. I think it's so fun, and really knowing that I'm putting my position, my teammates in a position to succeed and score a point is the greatest feeling ever.